Our good friend Lucas Pinkerton, Pinkerton Distillery, back in studio with us. Pinkerton Rum. Thanks for having me out, Chad. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming in today. Uh, congratulations. I know you had the big uh, official ribbon cutting yesterday. Yes, we did, and we had a great turnout. Which, you know, it kind of it scoot up closer to that microphone uh, for us. It, it, uh, it means you get to ho- you got to hold the big pair of scissors. I is did. it awkward doing a ribbon cutting? It is. With a big pair of scissors like really, that? It really, really is. You need two people. <laughs> well, you had the uh, ribbon cutting yesterday. For folks who don't, uh, uh, maybe didn't hear our first interview with you, uh, and, and maybe they have not seen Pinkerton's yet uh, in the stores, tell folks uh, the, the story of Pinkerton's Rum. Well, we started about a year ago. Um, it's been a dream of mine to, uh, to open a distillery. And uh, uh, about a year ago, we, we started uh, production and distribution. And in that year, I've uh, been on your show once, and um, we've grown from Lubbock to Amarillo to Midland, Odessa, down to, to uh, San Angelo and Abilene. And we've just launched a coconut rum. Very nice. It's a good rum, too. I really like it. What, uh, when, uh, how long did it take you to come up with this version of the coconut rum? Oh, we worked on it off and on for probably six months, yeah. uh, playing with different ingredients, playing with different additives. And finally we narrowed it down to this and then we had to go through all of the process to get it approved so that we could then produce it and sell it. What all goes into when you, when you came out with the original, with the original rum, how long did it take you to go, okay, this is the right one and it, it, does it get to be a process where when you're going through it's taking a shorter amount of time to go okay yeah that's what i want that's what i want that's what i want it is it is um you know when you when you do it over and over and over you kind of know what's going on what goes into it and and as we go on i know what the flavors are going to how it's going to change into the rum and, and it makes it a little easier as we progress on what, what's the i, I guess the, the maybe the different process when you have the original rum and you go to coconut rum, what's the, besides the flavoring, you know, that, that you have of the coconut, what, what's the, is there a different process that you have to go through or how does that work? It goes through similar processes all the way through. You know, we, we start with the molasses, we, we ferment it, we distill it, then we have our distillate. And then from there, uh, we'll proof it down to get it ready to drink. And with the coconut, we have to do a couple extra steps. We add the flavor. And then it actually has to go through redistillation to do the final proofing because the the, the flavor additives and, and the, the, the minute amount of sugars we put in it um, makes it a little more dense than water. And so the traditional means of of measuring alcohol content don't work until you redistill it, and then, then they do. So there's just a little bit extra to it, but not much. Hmm. How long does it take beginning to end? About three weeks. You know, the, the fermentation takes about a week. Um, it takes a day to, to do to the distillation. And then we got to let it mellow out after the distillation and calm down. And, you know, it makes – after that, you know, roughly two-week period, it'll be mellow enough and, and, be, and gr- be great for us to, to sip on. I'm sure when you meet people and, and you're doing tastings, and I, I know you have a few tastings that are coming up mm-hmm. uh, soon, one of the questions you I'm sure you've got to be asked is, because when you think of West Texas, when you think of Lubbock, the first thing that doesn't really pop to mind for a lot of folks is rum, and and rum being distilled and made right here. And this is a te- this is a Texas product. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure people ask you all the time, "What made you go rum? Rum that that's the business I want to get into." All I can say is I love it. It's my favorite drink. I love making it. I, I have a, f- a whole lot of fun getting out there in front of people with it. It's it's a passion for me. Yeah, and uh, I know you do uh, a few of these where people can, uh, you know, get more information uh, on your Facebook page about when mm-hmm. you have the the open houses. But you do a lot of those. Um, it, it's kind of cool to to show off the process, and people get a kick out of it. It's fun to have people out. We usually do them on the first and third Saturdays. Um, our our website just got updated where you can get, have better directions to come out there. There's a contact form on there too, so that you can request. Um, you know, specific tour times and things of that nature if you want to come out. Very cool. Uh, where are you doing some tastings uh, where people can come out and uh, try a little bit of uh, Pinkerton's Coconut Rum and uh, the original as well? Tonight, uh, excuse me, today at uh, Pinky's on, by the Mall, 
we're going to be there from four to six doing tastings. So please come on out. Yeah, it's it's a great product. You, I mean, you're knocking it out of the park, uh, and it just seems like Pinkerton's is, is blowing up throughout West Texas and throughout the state. I mean, you're everywhere now. It's it's really surprised me how well it's taken off, and I'm very grateful at how it's progressed and congratulations thank you all right when we come back uh, we're going to take your phone calls get into a few other subjects go out and uh, look up pinkerton's online get it at uh, your, your your favorite so it's just about every store you can pick up pinkerton's now right specs docks pinkies ollies casey's liquor end zone it's all over the yeah. place go and pick it up it's fantastic rum my favorite it's uh, it's a fantastic to either mix or uh, just sip I love to sip it. Yeah, it's good stuff, especially with a cigar. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good, too. Lucas, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Chad. Have a Chad Hasty Show, News Talk, KFYO.